Hi, I'm Mark Regera from Microsoft Finance in the Servant Tools Business Group. And I'm here today with Jean Pushwit, who is the Microsoft General Manager for our operations in Puerto Rico. In his current role, Jean oversees the production of CDs and DVDs for North and South America, which includes commercial products such as Office and consumer products such as Game. Thank you, Jean, for being with us today. Can you give us a little bit of an idea of the scale and scope of our operations in Puerto Rico? Sure, Mark. Thanks for having me here today to talk about our results in Puerto Rico and the work that we're doing there, how we're using BI to improve those results. We make 30 to 40 million discs a year. Uh, this is full manufacturing, all the way from melting resin down to forming discs to metallizing them and putting code on them. We use machines to do that, some of which are the size of an office. It is full-on manufacturing. Well, that's a big scale. Um, can you tell us a bit what are the key metrics that you look at in your day-to-day -day job? Uh, cost, quality, and service are the, really the, the, the highlights of that. In the cost space, uh, we're always concerned with our asset efficiency. And so we look at a lot of metrics around utilization. We've got big goals around scrap percentages and also inventory. We're a build-to-order plant, and we also get order sizes that range anywhere from one disk in our low-volume cell all the way up to run sizes of 100,000. And so all of those metrics are important in terms of our financial performance. Great. So I've heard that you've used uh, PowerView, uh, which is part of SQL Server, in the last few months. Can you talk a little bit about how the business review have changed and the impact it has had in the way you run your business? Sure can. We uh, really two different ways. So one is in a pretty real time way on the factory floor in terms of people looking at information, varieties of information to make decisions about how we're deploying our machines, how we're deploying our people and what our production is going to look like for the day, for the week and for the month. The other thing that PowerView has really changed for us is my monthly business review and the financial um, aspects of that review in particular. It's more interactive now, and so we can actually drill into information, mm -hmm. ask questions, and answer them real time, make decisions in that meeting that normally would take days or even weeks potentially to follow up on and take action on. Okay, Gene, so why don't we make it real and look at a real example? Sure, I'd love to. So here we have a view of your facilities which shows on the bottom half the units produced the scrap percentage and utilization by month for, from July to October and by machine sorted in descending order. Mm -hmm. On top right, we have the trend by month by product category. We have a table that summarizes and we have a little filter that shows what the CD DVD machines versus print. Mm -hmm. So if you were presented with something like this, how would you go about exploring the data? Sure. Well, the first thing I notice is that, that this is exactly what's been going on in the plant over the course of the last few months. I see a high level of production of Windows 8. Um, we've also had a strong quarter in terms of Office, and I see games production ramping up as we move toward the release of Halo. Um, looking at this view in particular, I see also that we are meet, meeting our overall scrap target of less than 10%, which is good. I like that. Um, I am a little bit concerned about the total utilization numbers, though. At, at 72% in August and declining um, slightly since then, maybe we could drill down into that and see where that's occurring. Could we look at the CD and DVD machines? Of course. And so this is the beauty of, of PowerView, is that it allows you to filter very easily real time. And all the charts are going to change and change the, and show the data just for CD, DVD. Okay, so what I see here is that our CD and DVD machines have actually been better utilized with utilization capping out at about 94% in the August timeframe, declining slightly after that. Um, looks like we've dropped our Windows 8 production overall in that area and are making more games. Um, our scrap percentage is, is hovering around our target. So I feel, I feel pretty good about this overall. I'd be interested in looking at my best producing DVD machine. So here what we can do is drill into the one with the highest utilization, which is DVD-16, which has a year-to-date utilization of 88%. By simply clicking on it, we can go all the way down and see the data just for that machine. Very interesting here. Windows 8 production is, is declining on that machine, and it looks like we're using that machine to make a lot of games right now. Um, Halo 4, again, launching on the 6th of November. So um, our scrap targets overall, again, are being met. This is a highly utilized machine. So this is obviously one of the machines that is kind of the backbone of our production. So maybe what we can do now, since we have explored DVDs and CDs, we can look at the print machines. Sure. Okay, so all we do here is we go and filter on print, and we're going to change the overall view just to print. Okay. 
A uh, little, different, little different picture overall here. You see the same basic trends in terms of our product mixes in the upper right. Um, scrap at 2% in the print space is, is probably about right in our overall goal of 10%. What I do notice about this, though, is the underutilization of the equipment in this space. And that would probably drive us to make a different decision about the number of machines that we're employing here or maybe even the machines that we're employing. So there we go. So in matter of just a few clicks, we're able to go from all the way up your overall summary down to machine level. Mm -hmm. um, any other way you use PowerView in your day-to-day -day job? Well, sure. As I said, you know, we are using it across the production floor with all of my leadership team to manage everything from the machines that we're using, how we're using those machines, but also the financial metrics. And Jose Prieto has created a number of different views for us to drill down into our operating expenses and our vendor spend and our overtime percentages. And so we're using it extensively across that arena. We're also using it to start to understand the dynamics of the other businesses that we're in at the plant. We run 1,200 servers and a set of mission-critical release applications, and we're newer at that business, and so we're starting to try to apply some of the disciplines of manufacturing and the BI tools that we've got here to understand those businesses more deeply. Well, thank you, Gene, for uh, talking about how you convert data to insight and use insight to drive impact with PowerView. It's great. I've been pleased to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you.